Now let us see the bifurcation of basicity of acid and acidity of base. First of all, what is this term meant by? First of all, basicity of acid. So that means the number of H plus ion will be generated per molecule of acid. That means one molecule of acid and how many H plus ion it is generating. That this concept is referring to the basicity of acid. Now what is the meaning of acidity of base? That number of OH minus ion per molecule of base is generated is referring as acidity of base. Don't get confused when we are writing acid at last see the number of H plus ion. When we are writing base at the last we have to write the concentration of OH minus or number of OH minus ion and write what is opposite to this again. Basicity of acid that means number of H plus per molecule of acid. Acidity of base means number of OH minus per molecule of base. So in one molecule how many H plus ion is generated is referring to basicity of acid. When we are writing acid last see the number of ion of H plus. When we are writing base last see the number of OH minus ions. Now there are three types of acids as per the basicity of acid. First is monobasic acid, second is dibasic acid, third is tribasic acid. What is monobasic acid? That is it generates one H plus per molecule. For example hydrochloric acid. If it will dissociate with H2O then it is give, then it is giving you 1 H3O plus and Cl minus. It dissociates in one step and so the basicity is 1. Why the basicity is 1? Because it generates at 1 H plus per molecule. One molecule of hydrochloric acid it gives 1 H3O plus. Now dibasic acid same as monobasic here it gives 1, here it gives 2 H plus per molecule. And here it the basicity is 2. Why 2? Because it generates 2 H plus per molecule. The example is sulfuric acid, H2SO4. It dissociates in 2 steps. It requires 2 steps to dissociate. First, H2SO4 with water, it gives you H3O plus and HSO4 minus. In first step, one hydrogen ion will be replaced from H2SO4. In SO4, SO4's combining capacity is minus 2. So it is combining with 2 H plus. So in first step, first H plus has been removed. And in second step, second H plus has been removed. So here, in first step, first H plus has been removed. So remaining is HSO4 minus and in the second step HSO4 will again combine with H2O and it gives hydronium ion and SO4 minus 2. At the second step it completely dissociate. It dissociate in two steps and it gives 2 H plus per molecule. That's why it is dibasic acid. Now try basic acid. This acid dissociate in three steps. What is an example? H3PO4. And it gives how many H plus ion or hydronium ion? 3 hydronium ion while it dissociates. And what is the basicity? 3. How many hydronium ion will be generated? That many its basicity. Now let us see the dissociation step. Now first of all PO4 minus phosphate. It has a combining capacity of 3. So it combines with 3 hydronium ion. So by dissociate one by one we are taking out the hydronium ion. So in first step, first hydronium, has, hydronium ion has been dissociated and it is replaced. 
So the remaining ion is H2PO4 minus. In second step H2PO4 minus will combine with water and it gives H2PO4 minus 2 and here hydronium ion. Here H2, H2PO4 HPO4 minus 2 will combine with water and it gives PO4 minus 3 and hydronium ion. One by one, one one hydrogen will be replaced and a complete dissociation will happen in three steps. And it gives three hydronium ion at the end. So this is how the monobasic acid, dibasic acid and tribasic acid will work out. Mono means one, di means two, tri means three. Mono means one H plus, it gives, the acid gives one H plus. Di means this acid gives 2H plus. Tri means this acid gives 3H plus. Now let us see what is acidity of base. As I have told you earlier, the number of OH minus ion per molecule of base. And this also, there are three types. Mono basic as mono acidic base, mono acidic, diacidic base and triacidic base. Monoacidic base means it gives 1 OH minus per molecule. Now here there is a little difference that when acid will dissociate it needs steps. If there are two replaceable H plus it dissociates in two steps. When there are three replaceable hydronium ion it requires three steps to dissociate. But in the base it requires only one step to dissociate. Within one step, the whole two or three hydroxyl ion will be dissociated. This point you need to remember. That it gives 1 OH minus per molecule. So NaOH, sodium hydroxide will dissociate and it gives 1 hydroxyl ion. And acidity is 1. Here we have written basicity because it is mono basic acid. So we are writing basicity. Here it is monoacidic base. So here we are writing acidity. So acidity of monoacidic base is 1. So if for example if they are asking a question what is the acidity of NaOH then you have to write 1 because it is generating 1 hydroxyl ion and dissociation. Now diacidic base it gives 2 hydroxyl ion and all the base requires only one step for dissociation. So calcium hydroxide will dissociate and it gives Ca plus 2 and 2 OH minus. Now triacidic base it gives as name suggests it gives 3 hydroxyl ion per molecule. So aluminium hydroxide it contains 3 OH so while dissociate it gives Al plus 3 and 3 OH minus and the acidity is 3 if it gives 3 hydroxyl ion the acidity is 3 if it gives 2 hydroxyl ion the acidity is 2 so what is the basic concept about basicity of acid and acidity of base in how many steps they will dissociate and how many number of OH minus or number of H plus ion will be generated in per molecule of acid or base. Here 1 H plus will be generated, 2 H plus will be generated, 3 H plus will be generated. Here 1 OH minus will be generated, 2 OH minus will be generated, 3 OH minus will be generated. And accordingly they are called mono, di and tri basic acid or acidic base.